What is up you guys? It's Jay. It's your pop boy. Welcome back to the channel. Now I'm coming at you with this upload today because I got a really good comment from a viewer right here. Appreciate you my man. Um, asking me to take a look at this defensive assist with intense D slider. And actually that's a really good idea. Um, I feel like this setting, this slider is kind of mysterious. I don't think a lot of people know much about it or really mess with it. So you know what I had to do. I, I had to go in my cave and just test the hell out of this slider, okay? I wanted to figure out, A, does it work? Um, does it actually do anything? And what exactly does it do? And then what's the best setting for this slider? I was actually able to shed some light on it for myself. So let me share with you guys what I found out about this thing. Let's, let's get into it here. So like I said, the first thing that I was testing for with this slider is does it actually work? Um, does it actually make a difference what you put it on? Uh, what exactly does it do? Because if you see the description down here, uh, determine the effectiveness of AI defensive movement assistance when holding intense D. Okay, another vague description from 2K. That's, that's nothing new. It doesn't really tell us much. But it does tell us that this only works when you're holding the intense D button. So if you're on PS4 like me, that's going to be your L2, your left trigger on Xbox. So we know that this setting is only going to come into play when you're holding that button. So that's all we get from 2K. But after doing all my testing, I can definitely tell you exactly what it does. It just helps you stay in front of your man. Okay, so if you have intensity on and you have this on a higher setting, it's just going to be easier for you to move your player and react to the ball handler. You're just going to have an easier time staying in front of him. Okay, so he's not going to blow by you as easily. And clearly, obviously, the opposite is true if you have it on a lower setting. Um, it's just going to put more onus on you, the user, to react quickly yourself um, to be able to stay in front of the ball handler. And you have less margin for error when it's on a low setting. So obviously it's going to require more skill, uh, more reaction time, more timing uh, from the user to stay in front of the ball handler uh, when it's on a low setting. And the weird thing about this slider is that it only affects your player when he's playing on ball defense. Um, it's not going to affect any off ball defense whatsoever, which is kind of weird if you think about it. Um, I can't really explain why that's the case, but whatever. I guess as long as we know now. So the question is, does it work? Um, I wouldn't have been able to find out exactly what it does like that if it didn't work, if it wasn't doing something. So it definitely does have an effect. Now the next question is, how much of an effect does it actually have? And what's the best setting to put it on? And really my definition for best um, in this case is really most realistic. Okay, I don't know about you, but I like realism. I'm always trying to get things to be as realistic as possible. Okay, because if you're playing on Hall of Fame and you have really bad defensive ratings, you shouldn't be able to just hold intense D and have an easy time staying in front of your man. No, you're playing on Hall of Fame, you have bad defensive ratings, you should have a hard time staying staying in front of your man. So in making it realistic, we want to make sure that this defensive assist doesn't sort of drown out the individual player's defensive ratings. Okay, that's the big thing. We want to make sure that the player's ratings really matter still. Okay, so that's what I'm always going for. I want to make the difficulty level matter, and especially I want to make the individual player's defensive ratings matter. Okay, otherwise, what's the point here? What are we doing? So after testing this on all different difficulty levels with all types of different players with different defensive ratings in different situations against different offensive players, yeah, I can tell you exactly what we're going to want to do to get the most realistic results with this slider. And my big conclusion is it's pretty ridiculous that this slider goes all the way up this high. It can get pretty overpowered. There's no way. It's way too overpowered. It has way too much of an effect on these higher settings. So we're going to be working way down here. So I'm really going to give you three different settings here, okay? And the first one is for if you play on a low difficulty level, okay? So you're a beginner, you play on an easier difficulty, you play on rookie or pro. And in that case, what you're going to want to set this at is 30, okay? That is the highest I would go with it, okay? You start getting much higher than that and suddenly your defensive ratings don't really matter that much when you're holding intense D. And you're not that great of a defender any other time, but when you're holding intense D, D, you suddenly become an unrealistically good defender and you're just too good at staying in front of your man. Now next, 
if you play in the middle, if you play on a moderate difficulty, so if you have it on All Star, the most realistic setting for that level of difficulty is going to be 20. So we have to drop it down a little bit to account for the increased level of difficulty. So if you go All Star, I would definitely put it at 20. Now those who play on a tougher difficulty, Superstar, Hall of Fame, we're going to want to drop it down another two notches to 10. Okay, so that's going to give you the right amount of assistance based on your skill level, based on your ability level. And it'll make it realistic and it'll make the player's defensive ratings actually matter. And that's the case for all of these, which is beautiful. It's exactly what we're going for. I was kind of fearful that this setting would kind of be one big gray area and I wouldn't really find out anything definitive, but I was really happy with the test results. I mean, these held up very, very consistently once I got a feel for, you know, how powerful this thing is. So I'm really glad I got that comment. Thank you again, Dark Flame. Appreciate you. Um, really good idea. Give these a shot based on whatever difficulty level you play on and definitely comment below. Okay, let me know if you have any questions, if you run into anything, if you have anything to say about that just bring me anything you got as usual you guys know i'm always responding and of course if there's something else you guys would like me to test in 2k go ahead and comment that below too i don't really care what it is i'll i'll do it I'll, I'll take a shot at it i'll see what i can find out i'll put i'll put the time into it i don't care i mean that's the whole genesis of this video so go ahead and do that if there's anything specific you're looking for but other than that i think i'm out for now guys appreciate you watching and you know i'll be back soon with more so i hope to catch y'all next time but until then you know it's your pop boy and i leave you with a little public service announcement don't get popped on